Hello everyone, Russell Wright from Network Empire, and we're going to actually build from the ground up a course while I'm recording it live uh, called Google Live Hangouts Fast Ranking. And before we start, understand where I'm coming for, from with uh, Google Hangouts is that Google Hangouts is given special treatment. I know this because I ranked for a term in our testing in something like 45 seconds and with a couple of other very simple steps using a fiber gig I was able to rank number one. And the term was SEO technical training or technical training SEO. In fact, uh, to give you SEO technical uh, training, uh, to give you an example of how kind of humorous this whole thing was, uh, you can see that I am currently ranked number one for this term and uh, above Bruce Clay who was actually my mentor and he's actually ranked for SEO training which is a much more profitable term so he's actually got the seed word above this but I sniped him for the secondary long tail and I'm already getting traffic on this term. It took me 45 seconds to get on page two and with an additional fiber gig, a very specialized gig, I was able to get on page one for this and SEO technical training, the inverse. Um, to give you a little more insight onto the humor, let me just refresh here. Uh, this was actually Look recorded. Empire.com. This was actually recorded uh, in almost a dial-up connection, a DSL connection uh, at my property in the woods and I was just doing a test. I didn't plan on really uh, popularizing this video at all and I actually had to add a disclaimer. This video is an SER ranking test at Google Hangouts. The bandwidth is terrible so don't watch it and a lot of our students thought that was very very funny that I ranked for number one and really didn't want it to be ranked. Okay so it actually is, you can listen to it and it's not that terrible but it doesn't meet our standards. Uh, but that is the point, is that it was the most, it was the easiest thing I've ranked for in a while. And of course, this is the raw YouTube video. And we must, of course, understand the difference. Bruce was able to get BruceClay.com ranked, of course, his own property, which is excellent. And I was only able to get YouTube ranked because YouTube is a major authority domain. Uh, it has high domain authority. And if you want to know more about domain authority, you can uh, upload the SEO Moz toolbar. I can show you how to do that later on in this course. Uh, and that's what I just wanted to point out is that this specifically, I would not have been able to do this with a plain old YouTube video. Uh, I needed to do it with Hangouts. And Live Hangouts is given special credit because it's tied to your Google Plus account. We've also discovered that it does matter uh, if you verify your Google Plus account and your domain and you connect them with your YouTube channel. Um, and how much it matters, I'm unsure. I can't give you a certainty on that until we test more. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a live uh, demonstration of what it is that I'm talking about so you can walk through step by step. And in order to do that, I need to go ahead and find a term that I want to rank for. So I'm not going to go for a super broad term, although we are going to do another test right in this course where we go for a super broad term. Uh, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do your keyword research. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use uh, choose long tail keyword and we're actually going to do uh, we're going to actually going to choose a profitable long tail keyword okay and by profitable what we're going to do is we're going to first use two of the theme zoom tools we're going to use pain finder and tlkt or the last keyword tool. Or, and or, Kraken, Voma. That's the vertical online market analysis tool. Okay, now this gives me an opportunity to explain all of these tools to you while I'm showing you how to use it, okay? So I'm going to pause this video for a moment and we're going to decide what it is I want to rank for. Now I'm going to try to rank for something that I can actually sell. And as you know, I've got lots of things to sell because we have a company called Network Empire. So when you're doing a test, and this is just to keep you guys on track, always go to your products area where you're trying to sell stuff and remind yourself what you're in business with. Start with your product first before you just go and uh, you know, start randomly trying to rank for keywords. 
So when you're doing research, always start with your products. Now I have a lot of online products I could sell. You can see all these courses and stuff. So I'm just going to look through a couple of these. And it's always fun to go for traffic generation. You can see I have a whole section of courses here. Now just again, keep in mind that you'll have your own courses and products. And if you don't need to find one, either affiliate product or your own. So I've got a lot of things and there's some pretty high end keywords here like content curation is definitely a product that we have. And we also have blog traffic and content curation essentials. So I thought it might be fun to go for something like content curation because it is pretty competitive. Um, but let's just go ahead and look. Let's open a new browser and we'll type in content curation. Since I do have a course that was created last year, I was thinking we should go for something like content curation training. And here's my friend Scott Scanlon from uh, Curation Traffic. I've done a lot of work with him in the past. Um, there's also uh, Beth is also pretty high on the terms. And you can see there's almost 100,000 pages. That's nothing too complex. And if you go to a phrase match, you can see that there's 1 million. That's actually a very strange. It jumped from broad to 900,000 to. There's a lot of people targeting. Content curation, for some reason, is a very, because a lot of people are creating content, it's a very competitive term. So it's, it's snapping out here 1.7 million results in the phrase match. I'm not too sure about that. But the, I know that Scott is getting a lot of traffic off of this, and I love Scott. He's a great guy, and he has some great training in his course, and he has a, a blog theme. I cannot silo that blog theme, but it, it is a good theme. Uh, it's a scoop it look-alike. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rank for a content curation training live for you and show you that it is possible to do what I'm uh, suggesting. And that is what I would consider a very competitive term, and it's very possible that I won't be able to outrank him because he's got a lot more inbound links. Okay. If I go to the second page, I'm just I'm wanting to check to see if I have any of my own sites on one or two, and I don't. For some reason, I never targeted content curation training. So that's the term that we're going to uh, rank for. Okay. Now here's the th now the first thing that I do. So I'm going to open uh, the last keyword tool, and you just go to the lastkeywordtool.com if you're a member you should uh, be able to easily just log in. Okay, and I'm just gonna create a new project. I'm gonna type in content curation training. Okay, I'm gonna hit the United States and there's content curation training. It says it's gonna take about an hour, but it's only gonna take about five minutes. I'm also going to open Kraken. Let me go ahead and do got a special login here. And once you log into Kraken, you can run that simultaneously. I'm going to see if I have content curation already. I can just read it if I do. This is not a course on how to use Kraken, which is a very advanced tool. Now with Kraken, I'm not going to type in content curation training. I'm actually going to type in content curation because while we're doing this course, I want to get you familiar with Kraken. It's a vertical tool and vertical means you go as high as you can to the most competitive terms. And for example, if we go look on the search engines uh, with content curation, it's going to be even more competitive than content curation training. So I'm going to take content curation, curation content. These are all fine. Curate content. These are all your synonyms or what we call your search engine proven synonyms. Okay. We're going to click continue. And Kraken is going to go out and first drill these items. And when it's done with that, we're going to drill into literally hundreds of thousands of web pages and pull back tens of thousands of keywords, bringing back only the profitable terms. What that'll do is that'll set up a most profitable keyword list for the next six months for us to start sniping using Google Hangouts or video or anything else that you want to use. You're going to know absolutely the only pile of profitable keywords uh, ex currently existing as a snapshot on the web at this time. And that's what makes Kraken the only keyword of its um, theme and vertical analysis tool of its kind. It's not really a keyword tool because no keyword tools really give you all of the keywords that are profitable within a market and only those. Uh, getting rid of all the long tails and everything if it's not uh, profitable. Okay, so that's where we're at here. Let's just remind ourselves where we're at. What I've done is I've opened up uh, TLKT. I've also opened up Kraken and we're drilling in to choose a profitable long tail keyword based on your products. Okay. Okay, now let's go ahead and rename this here. Choose profitable long, uh, profitable. I'm going to go ahead and put dash profitable dash product 
based. Okay, so that will help uh, newbies who really tend to get lost in a product versus an educational term. You can go ahead and rank for educational terms if it's going to pull you into your product, and especially if you own an educational product. Okay, so now we've looked at our product, we've found a product and a vertical, and we've started to drill in that specific term, going for a mid tail, which is about uh, 1.5 million pages com competitive, which is more competitive than I'd plan on going for in this video. And we drilled into Kraken as a vertical because we're going to swallow our market whole. For those of you who are not ambitious and that scares you, that's fine. But I wanted to, at least for you to be aware of how we think at Network Empire. And then we're going to go to Pain Finder, which we have to open now. And Pain Finder is very cool. What this does is this allows you to deal with exact phrase match questions, exact sentence questions, which is where, where Hummingbird and what we call Humzilla is going. And we're going to go ahead and uh, drill into a term uh, called, uh, we're going to create a new project. This is going to be called content curation. We're going to drill in, oops, I spelled it wrong. We're going to drill into the broad and the phrase. Content curation. Okay, we're going to go into content creation for one project. And that's going to take a moment. When it starts drilling, you can actually create a new project and drill them at the same time in Pain Finder, which is very, very cool. So we're going to uh, create a new project, and this is going to be called content curation training, because that's the actual uh, term that we're going to try to rank for with our Google Hangouts, content curation training. I'm going to create that project as well. So this will be drilling as well. And what will happen is you go back to the project screen and you can see that these are both in project progress. And I know I went a little bit fast, but they will be, will be step by step. So you're going to look at these right here and you can see that content curation is a vertical and that's in progress. And the content curation training, this is the one that we're going for in our Hangouts instant ranking hopefully in five minutes or less. We don't really know. Um, I've never actually t tried to tackle 1.5 million pages or greater. So we might get on the second page with the Google Hangouts, but with some follow-up gigs and some follow-up backlinks, we should be able to eke our way up to number one or the top five, either instantly or over the course of a few days, okay? And what we're doing here is we wanna find out if Pain Finder has any specific questions that are very, very common for content curation training because we're trying to rank for that with Google Hangouts. And if they don't, then we're going to uh, look up the vertical market in the higher and more competitive term, content curation, and see what are the popular questions on Quora for content curation. And we'll make that kind of the hot topic to sell our training course. And we're still going to put uh, content curation training in the header, but it'll be of the video in the tag, the title of the YouTube video, which will become their Google Hangouts Live video. Remember that Google Hangouts Live imports directly into YouTube almost instantly. So it'll be content curation training dash interesting question from Pain Finder, depending upon what that is. And that'll pull in a lot of people, both on the full question, which is a hummingbird-like uh, validated uh, question-based keyword tag, a whole sentence, and the main keyword, which is content curation training, which we want to rank for, which is competitive. Uh, that would have taken a lot longer if we weren't using a Google Hangouts. So I know that's a mouthful, but once you get this, you can rank for any keyword. Okay, so let's go ahead and look and see where uh, the last keyword tool is. We're going to go to projects, and it looks like content curation training is still drilling. That's fine. And it looks like Kraken has come back with some things. And I'm not going to treat, teach you how to use uh, Kraken right now. I'm just going to say that I'm done. We're not going to get too deep into this because some of you don't have access to it. And you can see that what I love about Kraken is it tells you right away that uh, content curation and curated content is $2.28 a click. And there's about 147 searches on this. And I believe that's daily. Let me just double check that. Yeah, that's daily. So that's a lot. So content curation is great. Let's go to the view the themes for this cluster since I'm showing off how to use this. I'm going to go ahead and add a new theme. I'm going to go ahead and add the targeted term content curation training. That is the term that we're actually going for on the Google Hangouts Live and content curation. It's going to ask me to add some of these other ones to it, which is completely fine. We'll just leave those in there. And I'm kind of curious how much content uh, curation training is worth 
as far as pay-per-click and total search market value, which I'm going to briefly go over as a bonus in this course. It's going to drill into that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video because we have a lot of things running. We have the pain finder running. We have Kraken running and we have the last keyword tool running. I like to have all those on my dashboard because those are nice lights, dashboard lights that are going to go off with a bunch of content uh, that's beyond the scope of this training uh, that a bunch of information that you're not going to get anywhere else from any other tools. Not only will you, it help you uh, rank with your Google Hangouts Live uh, very quickly, but it'll also help you take further steps later on and back engineer the whole market step by step. In fact, you could back engineer the entire market one video and one video, one Google Hangouts Live at a time if you wanted to. So this is the kind of model of using semantic uh, ontology and video and the personal brand broadcasting model uh, to rank very quickly for one video at a time as you begin to build your own domain authority. And I do keep using terms like personal uh, brand broadcasting. And if you just type that into the search engine, you'll see that we're ranked in the top like five or seven uh, items on the search engine result page for that. Go ahead and watch our video. I'm also going to put it in the membership area here below. Uh, Hello everyone, my name is Russell. Where we talk about uh, building your personal brand broadcasting, why it's so important, we wrote this video script in 2012, July of 2012, and you will find by the time 2014 comes around that we will have been spot on. And I want to start getting you braced for the transition of Google keywords to the semantic web and to um, personal broadcasting and what we call engagement rank. Okay, because engagement rank is the new. Uh, algorithm where time on site by unique video content uh, by being a contributor not a copier or a swiper but a contributor Google can, tra Google can track unique and novel contributions through Google Hangouts because they know it has to be recorded live and they're gonna give it a lot more clout than the thousands of people who are stealing videos okay and so the difference is now taggable and markable by Google and as they begin to mark that up and use that as part of the open graph or the knowledge graph which replaced the open knowledge graph. Uh, Google Broadcasting, or what we call personal brand broadcasting, will replace all the cheap shot, kind of cheap SEO black hat models out there. You won't be able to compete with it because it's too novel and unique. Now, even though this is beyond the scope of this course, I want you to be aware that the reason I'm teaching you how to use Google Hangouts is because personal brand broadcasting is coming in a big way. And if you're using Google Hangouts, uh, the quality will only increase, the power will increase, and the ability to rank without even paying attention to SEO while you blow away a major SEO organizations by just providing awesome content. That future is here, and it's going to really be here over the next two years. All right, so let's pause this for a second and uh, see what happens. Okay, I know there's a lot going on, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and go back to Kraken. If you do not own Kraken or you're not a member of Kraken, it's a more expensive tool, don't worry about this. Just for those of you who have it, you can see that content curation training is here. Just go ahead and be done uh, choosing. And you can see that this is a quick way of finding out that content curation training is doesn't currently have anybody paying for it, but there are searches on it. And there is a very few number of competing pages that it's showing here, but this is coming from a different data set than the Google tools. You can remember if we go back here, content curation training, let me go ahead and see what Google says it is. They're still giving you a result of 1,740,000 results, okay? So that actually shows some kind of discrepancy with the way that we're pulling this in right now, or else it's it's jumping and fluctuating so much. Content curation training is showing 2,260. So this is probably currently coming from Bing or Yahoo. So I'll get on my team with that. We need to verify that. Uh, the point is that it's not showing any dollar amount dollar amount. What I like to do is drill now the whole theme. What's going to happen is content curation training is going to drill a lot more terms. Okay, So it's going to try to extract all the other keywords that might be profitable connected to content curation training. And that's going to take a couple of minutes for it to do that. Meanwhile, back in on Pain Finder, both content curation and content curation training appear to be done. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to content curation training. I'm kind of curious if there really was any content curation training um, 
words. Nope, it didn't bring back anything for content curation training. That means that on Quora, there is not anything specific to that training. There's no questions asking specifically about content curation. So I go to content curation and there's plenty of questions about content curation, which all of them could be considered content curation training. Now hopefully you can see the reason why I drilled both into the long tail and the broad tail in PainFinder. Because if content curation training did have a term, that would be very specific to what I'm trying to rank for. So what are the best content curation tools for daily use? You can see this has like over 19,000 views. People want to know about tools. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to go down through all these questions and start to get a feel for the pains in the market. Pains and questions are the same thing. Can content curation become mainstream? It already is mainstream. <laughs> what are some of the real world's best practices in terms of business using content curation? All right, these are all great questions. What are recommended content curation solutions for business startups? Who are the best tech content curators to follow? Okay, these types of things. Which is a better content curation tool? Scoop it, Storify, or Curata? And I've already answered some of these on Quora. When does content curation become content? So what, you're, what I love about this pain finder tool is it gives you the order of importance based on the number of views. What are the KPIs, the key performance indicators? Can you make money in content curation? That would be a great um, thing to, whoops, that would be a great question to answer. Number 20, can you make money in content curation? Okay, because you absolutely can. In fact, I think that's a great choice. I'm going to drill, go right over to it, and it's going to take me over to Quora when I click on it. Can you make money curating? Now, I am a content curation expert, uh, so it'll be really easy for me. In fact, I think sometimes I'm selected as somebody who should answer the question uh, based on points. Uh, but this is a really great one because what I'm going to do when I create my Google Hangouts Live, I'm going to insert that and answer this question, which will drive even more traffic to the Google Hangouts Live YouTube video and to my own website. So you'll just keep this open on your screen um, and that way you know you can just bookmark it or put copy and paste it onto a piece of paper. I'm sorry, copy it onto a notebook, on your desktop rather, and you know that you need to come back to this question because can you make money curating is very much related to my products, right? So let's go back here to choose a pain finder product. Okay, so select product target. Okay, so the product target is going to be, my product target is going to be my course. And the course is cur curation, profits, training course. Now see how important it is for you to have, I'm going to go ahead and pin this to the top up there, create a pin. See, it's right up here now. Um, and curation profits training course is something that I can sell. And I've got a great question on Quora, can you make money curating? And my whole course is about making money curating, right? So let's go ahead and open up Curation Profits because I haven't been back here in a long time. Every couple days, uh, three or four sales come in. I'm still selling this thing. It's been astounding how much people are interested in curation and it keeps growing. So I constantly have to revise this course. But what this does is this just reminds me where this course is because I'm going to need this URL. So I'm going to go ahead and just paste that course right here. I use the Brain software, which is what you're watching right now. It just helps me stay organized. You can use whatever you want okay, to uh, you know, organize your data. I just find that I like an, uh, a non-linear environment. And later on, I'm going to provide this uh, layout for you. So that's two. Let's go ahead and pin this to the top because that's step one. Create pin one and select product target. Pin two, because this is what you're trying to sell with this whole process. And that's important because you're not just making hangouts to hang out with people. A lot of people forget that you can use it as a, a direct or indirect selling. Okay. All right, so I'm going to stop this video. It's been about 24 minutes. And um, right before I stop it, let's just one last time check everything. We know that this is done. We have great questions. There's enough questions here to answer, um, create Google Hangouts for the rest of our lives and sell uh, the curation course hands over fist. Um, the, the curation uh, 
content curation training comes back with not a ton of stuff that is profitable. So we'll just go ahead and leave these for now. Content marketing comes back. And uh, we can see that nobody's really paying for that uh, keyword right now. And you can tell too, because you go over here to the main page, if somebody was paying, paying for this keyword, it would be over here in the Google AdWords area, right? There's not enough money in there for people to be uh, paying for it. And of course, Kraken verified that. So that's all we really need for this one right now, because there's not a ton of keywords related to it. All right. Oh, one last thing I wanted to show you is you can see that content curation, when you have a lot of green stuff here, it means that there's a lot of really reachable terms. So you can actually sort on the last keyword tool uh, on cost per click. Content curation tools is obviously the most profitable and probably is better, I'm better off going for content curation tools than I am going for um, content curation training. And we're going to stay on the training one because this might be my second uh, Google Hangouts that I have maybe the following week. You just start scheduling Hangouts for whatever your product is, but you can tell how profitable that is. And that's what the last keyword tool is really good for. Even though Kraken didn't come, when Kraken doesn't come back with a lot of terms, it just means that there are not a lot of terms that are super profitable. Okay, and that's why I love the last key tool because you can sort by profitability or importance. You can even find things that are related but are not uh, content curation. That could be later hangouts like content creation. You can broadcast something on the word, try targeting it. If you start targeting enough of these, I'm going to show you how to use video website silo architecture to start taking these hangouts and embedding them on your silo landing pages of either your primary or secondary sites, which will help you get even more boost of rankings. And uh, But for now, we're going to target you know, all this initial keyword research that I've done uh, is going to last me a long time. And I'm just talking to Sue. Uh, right now about Kraken to make sure that this is actually accurate. See, it'll tell you up here, if there's not a lot of profitable keywords. It says this theme has very few keywords. This is an indication that the market has very little bidding. I think that's probably true uh, about content curation, but I'm going to double check because you can see that, in fact, you can kind of tell if you go over to the last keyword tool, if you've got a lot of terms with uh, content curation in them, okay, you can sort by long tail. Let me go up to a filter and show you how to do that. By going default, interesting long tail seeds that have cost and traffic, you can go ahead and, and sort by that. Let's go ahead and long tail seeds that have cost and traffic. And I can just put that in there like that. And I can apply that filter. And you can see that there's not a lot of content curation training. Let me take that same filter over to the other Let's go to content curation. We're going to apply a filter. That's going to be the long tail. I'm going to apply that one. Yep, it actually, that tells me that content curation software is one of the only terms that has cost and click bidding. So Kraken was actually right. And this is a great opportunity for me to express to you uh, how accurate Kraken is. Kraken is used when you want to swallow your market whole. That's why we call it Kraken, okay? And content curation is a non-bid industry. Content curators don't get into pay-per-click too much. And curation is kind of controversial ever since Rosenbaum's book came out, Curation Nation. It was a huge splash and it's kind of started to wane. Like there's not as much interest in that keyword. So Kraken was actually correct. So I was wrong to think that Kraken was wrong. It was accurate. <laughs> so this thing here, theme has very few keywords. This indicates that the market has very little bidding. It was all accurate. That means I can close Kraken and know that this is not a vertical market, content curation is not a vertical market that's gonna take, that I even need to use Kraken in, okay? I'm gonna close it. All we're gonna need for dominating this entire market is content curation and the last keyword tool, okay? In other words, it's the pain finder uh, application and the last keyword tool, all right? I'm gonna stop the video now because on the next video, I'm gonna, we're gonna jump right in. We've literally spent less than 29 minutes doing research. We've learned that it's not a vertical market. It's a tiny niche, really. There's not a lot of bidding. It's easy to rank for. We're gonna to try to rank for uh, content curation technical training next to my friend, Scott Scanlon, uh, who's a great guy. And we're gonna to try to snipe him anyways. We're gonna to try to get right up here number one. We're gonna do that with the Google Hangouts Live.
And uh, we're gonna make it a really short one and it's only gonna be for the purposes of ranking and I'm not really trying to sell my product that hard because this is really for you and I don't have a lot of time to put together a presentation. But we're gonna talk on the next video a little bit about putting a presentation together with a slideshow. So it's really easy. You don't even have to show your face. And uh, when we get back, it'll be ready. Okay, we'll start getting into that. I'll see you on the next video. Please move on to video number two.